if you're watching this shit, welcome back. I'm here in front of Sam Bond's garage, smoking a bowl, surprise. I'm dying, as I love you. So you may or may not watch this in sequence or out of sequence, because basically I video when I can. Sometimes it gets interrupted and sometimes... Sometimes I think I'm recording and I'm not and shit like that, so I have no clue what you've seen. So I always try to give like a little summary, but then that can be boring to people who already know my story. Or it can be impressive to summarize. It's called a synopsis when you make it short and sweet and talk about the important parts. So by now a lot of people have realized that I've been like totally um, hunted down and like screwed over for being out about marijuana. So I, I, by the way, I do believe I could be an effective medical, mental health practitioner and um, still be able to provide mental health treatment, but I don't know. Other people are having more fun doing it and pretending like I'm involved in making money. But eventually you get caught if you don't do it the proper way. That's the way it happens. Of course you can tell I don't play at anything. Why would I play at anything? It's just my fucking phone. Whatever happens when I turn the thing on. That's the, all the guitar solo length you get on the, a radio song. That was a lengthy one. Um, so I'm gonna go in there and play some bluegrass. And by now, people know that I like I do enjoy boobs. I can be distracted by boobs. I prefer boobs. I like boobs. I'm a lesbian. I like women. It only took a couple of years for them to figure that out or around the music seat, or they just don't care. And by the way, if you were listening to the last broadcast and you're wondering what I, where I was going with the coyote trap and that whole thing, if my daughter didn't get snared by a coyote trap to get that big red line across her neck, it means that she's suicidal. Or it means that somebody is tying her up and choking her out. None of it's a, for a good reason, and none of it was done in my care, so um, hopefully the police are there figuring that out. I don't know where the there is, but I hope somebody else does. Because I've been videoed by shit and doing my thing, and I'm pretty good at <clears throat> documenting on items other than yellow legal notepads. And people are wondering why I would take a job to like do some house cleaning and some yard work when I just, you know, I don't need to. I have so many in my pocket right now. It's because I could always have more money in my pocket. You never know. You never know what can happen, and I've had people taking a lot of money out of my pocket before it even gets there. And so, um, 
I've learned how to be frugal and I thought that I could do that before but I've really learned it lately and I'll keep doing that until I see more more until I get pay everything off and I can see that everything's gonna be okay I'm gonna be kind of like a squirrel sitting on a money guarding it from everybody <coughs> that can't wait for me to turn and look the other way to try to get a little piece of it because apparently they've been doing that with some other accounts of mine and it's worked really well for them and now it's not working and they're not getting their hotel rooms and they're not getting to crash on their buddy's couch and it's really fucking cold to sleep in your car and I did it for two and a half years basically with very little break hotels here and there and um, didn't even find out about the one dollar shower program at the swimming pools and you know until like the last year of it so I was washing out of public restrooms and um, parks and fast food restaurants, wherever. Makes you look like a meth addict really quickly, apparently, because you are you get really hungry when you don't have income, and people are told not to help you. So I don't know what's up with that. But hopefully it gets corrected, because it's caused a lot of problems, and there's a lot of people paying attention now, and they're all coming to check it out. And they've gotten good at the whole, you know, disguising and putting lapel cameras on and all sorts of that stuff. Putting some weird freak that comes to like steal your guitar to pretend like he can play to make you think, oh my god, do I look that stupid? But no, you don't. It just highlights that that one does. I don't know. I don't understand. I notice these things, but I don't have to respond to it all because we all have a right to be that weird and whether or not we're paid to do it. It's kind of fun. I like differences. The nice thing about being bullied for a long time, as if you can consider that nice, is that I actually have absolutely no reaction to most anything. It's called flat affect, and it's a product of post-traumatic stress disorder. When you get, like, shocked too many times, you don't get shocked anymore. You just don't care. You don't care at all. And by now, people are really starting to care about me, and I have could care less because I've been trying for a year and a half, two years now, loving homeless in my car, you know, nine miles away from my hometown, my millionaire family, acreage of Century Farm. Not many of those in Oregon. It's not hard to figure out exactly who the fuck I am, whether you're just hearing me or just seeing me. So people either think I'm getting help or they don't fucking care. But either way, it's getting old and boring. So... Sorry to interrupt all your debates, because you're not talking about the things I'm talking about. Uh, I don't really... I don't care! I don't care. I'd like to be talking about what movie could I be in with my permission instead of sneaking people around me and videoing it, acting like it was a part. Like, I'd rather just be in it. I don't have to act naturally, because that's what's happening. I am acting naturally. They don't have a smoking section inside there, so I'm not sure where else I'm supposed to be seated. That's a thing. This must be the nice thing about people that don't live on Earth is that when they come to visit, that they don't have any clue which time you go to certain places, because it all seems the same to them. 
And all the things that are written down seem like symbols and gobbledy gooks, so they don't really fucking know. Like, they might get a, some of it down, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to tell. They don't know what's going on around. So they just do their best to fit in, and who cares if you put out some food for your cat to eat dry? It looks like something to munch on, and it's close enough to Chex Mix. I mean, what's the difference between Chex Mix and Friskies if you're not from here and you can't tell the difference unless you don't like the taste of cat food? I don't exactly know where that logic is going, but it's something I've noticed is that whatever these beings are that have come to snatch bodies from around me, um, they do enjoy snacking on cat food. Could just be my roommate's dog. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I get carried away with these thoughts. Am I a world leader? A world leader is defined as somebody who leads the world. I think a lot of people watch me. Um, I don't know if that's in an official capacity because when I won the role, people thought that I was being discriminatory and, and now I guess since it's been, it just took a shot of boob reaction for people to get oriented to what's going on and realize that, that, uh, it was okay for me to make fun of things that I was because I have those rights. I have a lot of rights. As a lesbian, I can make fun of gay men. Um, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it or they just get out of control like just any other group. Um, so, apparently, um, the discrimination that's going on around here that people are most upset about is... Um, not the meth users, you would think it would be them, they usually are, no, it's the heroin users that whine the loudest, the opiate users, they're always whining because everything hurts and they need more, but, um, and it's not the meth users, who's whining the very loudest? The people that are in love with Don Sly and don't realize that she's never going to be in love with them to the extent that it makes them look super gay. And people have a little bit of hard time um, like grasping that concept and it's, I don't, I find being super gay really good so that's not an insult. But um, when you, when you, <laughs> when you surround yourself with a man party and you get paid for it and you get dinners and there's never any women around ever and you don't include women and women start coming and then you get really mad and then if anybody mentions that it could be potentially possibly surfacely gay you freak out almost get arrested um have to be man shamed into the fact that you are wearing a leather coat that was purchased by my stepfather who's in his late his 60s or some shit I don't know I don't keep track of those numbers but I do know that it does it's not a pimp coat like if if you were going for pimp coat like that might be something that is desired by somebody from some era but um, basically it just cries out that you're either a thief with bad taste or you're a boyfriend and I, I understand that we've just gone ahead and changed the, the name um, to Peter Sly um, there's a store around here and they've been having a contest whether they realize it or not that I initiated originally because they're called exclusively adult and apparently that means only adults can enter inside and I've not been in there not because I think that I'm like oh I'm all Christian and I can't look at smut um I saw smut 
I've seen smut. I don't. It doesn't do much for me. I kind of feel bad for the people who do it. Like I, some like to do it and get paid well, and some do it because they need to feed their children and have clean clothes and shit. And so that's what I notice when I look at it. But um, anyway, there's. <laughs> I'm going all over the place, you know why? It's because a lot of people are watching me now because stuff that keeps getting opened up and more and more people crawl on board and they sure as fuck aren't doing it directly through my feed because that would show that they like me and then people come and beat you up and take your things and throw you in jail while they open special accounts that link into yours and your money just starts disappearing and... Let's distract her over here while we try to do that over there. So there's senators involved in such here in Oregon. Like it's gotten pretty bad. It's, it's the nice thing is the most narcissistic have been called forth in a way that they are um, arrogantly preening and demonstrating their dysfunction in a way that not only is kind of profitable for the people who are filming it, um, some intentionally and some it's just happening and they don't even realize their phone's on and they're gonna make a lot of money but what we've got going on is is basically a full-blown tantrum by many man babies and women babies and um, it's apparently unscripted and I'm really sad when things like my, what the content is, and my program um, is the top betting object at, I don't do these things, so I don't really know the lingo, I'll just kind of go with what I'm feeling, but in Vegas they like to watch the shit and predict what's going to happen and bet on it. What's she going to wear? Um, what are they going to play? Who's going to be... I don't know what they look at. You, the, the things they did on the Super Bowl for the halftime show, like, those kind of things. Like, apparently life is so boring that we can't wait for people to intentionally run around in some sort of competition to watch, to get some outcome to try to make money. I, you know, I'm not that shallow. But apparently some people are really into it because either they have too much money... Or they're gambling addicts, or the world's really, really, really gone to hell. So, I don't really know. If I were asked to be vice president, I would think about it. And I would have to, I would have to smoke several bowls with the presidential candidate to be considered as such. And it could be that I'm already maybe in a step, a position above that. Or maybe I'm already in that role, but everybody around me doesn't realize it. What Wouldn't that be a good story? I don't know. What happened if, if you were the eldest heir to somebody that is dishonest and runs around using your things, acting like they're you? What, 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 how would that work out? I don't know. It's going to work out really well until it's time to squidge a baby out of that man part. If you can call it that. You can call it that. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I would have more creativity. Somebody put something in my water at the last place I was at that brought me down quite a bit. It was a stimulant. They want me to look like I'm doing meth and so they're putting like really really high levels of nasty shit in my stuff and it causes internal bleeding and um, you would think it would cause me to be hyper or look psychotic or look like I'm hallucinating but it just makes me really calm and mellow. It's like giving a um, hyper child sugar or caffeine or Ritalin. Bella's about give them too much, makes them go to sleep. So I better try to stay awake and I better go see what's happening inside that place. I can't see from right here. I'm an anxious person and so I like to know, but I know that 
my friend D is in there. Um, I'm not worried people are going to beat me up or anything. Um, you never know, though. I just like to say things properly, and I like to not look dorky, but I don't mind if I do, actually. Sometimes I like to look, just not care about it in a way that it brings dorkiness into coolness. I support that. That could be my platform. If you so wanted to write me in for whatever the fuck is going on, do it. I'm sure I can be your class president. I could do it all. I can do it all. Now this, we're heading towards lines of delusional, but still not even that. I don't think that I'm something or somebody. Um, I do have documents in my glove box that do proclaim my ptsd -osity because I need to bring them for my medical marijuana card. I, I would like to just have a permanent one. I think I'm permanent. I permanently need marijuana. I shouldn't have to go in every year. I mean, there should just... There sh they should just know. They should just know it's Don Sly and I need weed. That's what I want you to know about me. I like boobs and I like weed. Synopsis. I could use a better mandolin. I could use better, all um, better instruments that I do with what I have. Because it's better than nothing. <sighs> yes, it's just me and my car. Yeah, I understand some people are spending nights in their cars and taking turns trying to get into the warming centers and there are people they have it down here like there are certain places you cannot go to the bathroom like they will not they will not let you in the bathroom after a certain time it's harsh it is harsh garage Good, how are you doing? What's going on? I know, but I know you want to be What's going on up there? Uh, they've been off and on slow. But this shit just started so. I mean this song here. The song just started? Yeah, the song just started. It was all happening with the party, uh, Gibble, Jabble, Gibble, Jabble, Jabble, uh, what we gonna play? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They know what they wanna play. You know how it is, they figured it out, then now, okay, we go with this. I do know how it is. There are no mandolins. Oh, there is one in the back. These were empty for a long time until just now. What's seats, that? The seats were empty up there until just now. Oh, yeah. Of course, you got me hooked on my favorite pizza. Again. I know, it's good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what's going on up All there. Right.
so much. I so am I. I can't move my fingers. Can you do a balance, please? No. Uh, Can I have a burn on the table? I can't do it. 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 I can
I don't look Indian at all, do I? Tuesday night dancing somewhere. Tuesday night. It's almost midnight. I can't believe I said three and a half. And the other one is passing by.
Somebody just now got my joke about aliens eating cat food um, as snacks. Just now. Like it took them 45 minutes, I think. I'm glad they got it.
think you meet one of them, buddy. My voice is only the bar is empty, you know what that means. Last song. Last song. The bar is low. The bar is been.
Love you. Yeah. Even if you are, what was it, a, uh, on Facebook, uh, official jam, Italian. I guess I need to head town town. See the thing about people who aren't from here, they don't know what time it is to go down to dance and they kind of go where the biggest base is, I think. And uh, I guess they're having a whose boobs are biggest contest. Oh yeah, my pleasure. I don't want to miss a whose boobs are bigger contest, so I gotta get going. I'll film if it happens.